Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig. You know, when the iPhone was released, Steve Jobs said that the main difference between a regular smartphone and the iPhone was you can surf the real web. And sure enough, you can do just that using Safari. And a lot of people have been doing it. According to sources like Google and other places, people on the iPhone surf the web way more than people on any other mobile device. As a matter of fact, so many people who come to MacMost.com are actually using an iPhone, not a Mac. So we've created a lot of different special sections for iPhone users. Let's take a look at them on this episode of MacMost Now. So the first thing I want to tell you about is the special home page of MacMost for iPhone users. MacMost.com slash iPhone.html is where you can find it. And this features the current edition of MacMost Now but in 3GP format which is really small. It's usually one or two megs and very easy to download even over the AT&T Edge network. You also get links to all the other videos kind of in a linear blog format and all the blog posts specially formatted for the iPhone screen. So check this out as a place to start. So by far one of the most popular sections is the iPhone game section. And you can find that at macmost.com slash iPhone game slash. And here you've got a bunch of different web apps that are all games that we created. You can go ahead and browse through two pages of games and when you find one you think you might like go ahead and just click on it and play. They're all completely free to play and they're all pretty easy to get into. There's something for everybody. Uh, some word puzzles, some picture puzzles, a few arcade games, a whole bunch of different things. So go ahead and check it out. There's such a great demand for information about the iPhone that we decided to create an iPhone guide. And it's a huge collection of blog posts all about the iPhone. Kind of a mini book if you will. You can find it at macmost.com slash iPhone guide. And when you look at it on the iPhone it's all formatted for the iPhone. And you can find a whole bunch of different articles here. There's even some tips for the iPhone experts. you will be surprised at what you may learn. Our latest section is the iPhone ringtone section. A recent update to the iPhone allows you to go ahead and make your own ringtones in GarageBand. But not everybody knows how or has the time to make their own ringtones. So we decided to make all these different collections of ringtones for you to go ahead and just download and use. You can go and browse this section. It's at macmost.com slash iPhone ringtones. And then you can go ahead and add just one sound and bring it into iTunes and let it sync with your iPhone. Or you can go ahead and subscribe to an entire category of sounds and it will automatically add them to your iTunes collection of ringtones and then it will automatically transfer them to your iPhone. And then you can assign them to various callers or as your default ringtone. Check it out. Now all this content is available of course for free at MacMost.com. If you've got ideas for other content we can add for iPhone users please let us know. Also, of course, when the third-party applications are released in June, we hope to have some of our own ready to go. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.